Come on, Ben, you're not dancing. I still don't hear music. Well, just pretend. <laughs> just pretend. Okay. You right. can dance. Let's into some uh, 90s alternative rock in my head. <laughs> All right, perfect. All right, so <laughs> uh, for everybody, this is Ben Bradley, and he is our trusty news director. He is our official tech guy here on the show. He is also the battery bad boy or Baron, as he likes to be called. Right, Ben? Yes. Okay, so. Baron of batteries, yeah. The Baron of batteries. Um, you know, <laughs> I, you know, you don't know this, because I've never shared this with you. I've never, I don't know if I've ever shared this publicly, but I am a Baroness. Seriously, I am a Baroness. Barry is I a Baron. I don't think you have said that. No, Barry is a Baron. And I am, I don't like to throw the title around, you know, like, you know, like Duchess of Sussex, you know. I I am the Baroness of Sealand. I will tell you more about that wow. some other time. Yes, I see. Okay. Now all of a sudden you're starting to show me some respect. Yes. There you go. Learn, learn something new every day. I had no idea. Kind of changed my whole attitude. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> um, all right. So you're going to give us your top ten list of your reviews. Quite a few. Yeah, I put together. You know, it's been quite a year of reviews. I. I did the math and, you know, the, between the ones I've come on the show to talk about and the ones I've just reviewed for the website, just this year, I think I reviewed about 55 different things. Wow. Uh, that's so a this, lot. Yeah. So yeah, I put, a, I put together a roundup of some, some of my favorites, 15 of them over at commando.com, which you can see now, but figured I'd come on and, you know, go over some of the greatest hits today. Okay. Uh, the one I want to start with and not surprised, the Curie, the under desk elliptical. Still a thing. Still I've used. Still a thing. Every day. Now, really? Fourteen months now. Yeah. Every day. So So and you feel uh, you know, you, keep it in. You feel the difference, Ben? Yeah. Stairs are easier, you know, get that cardio going. So but yeah, under the desk, you move it, put it in front of your T V chair in the evenings. Perfect. Just uh keeps the cardio going. So uh three fifty for the QB Pro, that's the Bluetooth one. 250 for the one without Bluetooth. So well, just, you know what? For 350 yeah. bucks, if you're using it every day, I mean, it's less than what? It's probably 75 cents a day, right? Maybe even less than that. There you go. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And, you know, make it up in health. And then uh, something else I use every day is that uh, Belkin uh, charging stand I brought on a few months ago with MagSafe. You know, they were the first, Belkin was the first one to bring out like the, you know, truly licensed MagSafe gear. And, you know, I put, my phone on this. I actually reviewed the one that was just the phone charger and the AirPods charger. I went out and bought the one that also had the Apple Watch charger. Sits on the nightstand, use it every single day. Uh, 85 to nine, 85 to 100 for the two-in-one. The three-in-one costs about 150 but love that thing. Perfect. The other, uh, let's see, the smart frame, the Aura Carver smart frame, which I know uh, you took an interest in. This is, I know, you know, you can display all your photos on Echo Shows, TVs, tablets, and all that. But nice thing about this, standalone gifts for relatives who don't live nearby. Uh, you can add photos to the frame through the app uh, and just make sure it's going to a place with Wi-Fi. And you get it for about 160 right now. Uh, the other thing I've got it right here, the Exter minimalist wallet with the uh, switchblade-like function. Uh, that's become my favorite wallet. It got me away from the traditional billfold. Um, these are all on sale right now, 60 bucks, usually go for 80. The one I've got right now goes for 67 and the table lamp, which we talked about the Phillips Hue yes. Bloom. Mm -hmm. Awesome. You know, kind of a, kind of disappears into the background, you know, just, uh, for that indirect light. Um, I really tried to limit batteries because I know how much you love them, but you know, I had to bring on the projector. The portable yes. projector with, uh, you know, wireless has battery. It's got like 5,000 streaming apps. It's the Anchor Nebula solar projector. Take it on camping trips, all that. The Jackery is another one. This is a much smaller version of that one I took on the camping trip. If you remember the, uh, the oh, solar panels. Oh, yeah. That was, but that, weren't they yeah. expensive? Wasn't that a lot of money? That one was like 2700 bucks. This one is 300 Oh, that's and much you better. charge your phone dozens of times. Yeah. Um, and a few honorable mentions. The uh, now I'm, I'm never going to go back 
from a, a smartphone. But there are those who still prefer, you know, prefer the uh, simplicity of the flip phone. And this one is actually made, this is the Cat S22 made by Caterpillar. They actually, you know, it makes all the heavy machinery. And it's rugged, so you can drop it, throw it. I think you can uh, submerse it in chemicals, and it'll be fine. And what's nice about this is if you still like some of the today's apps and things, it has a touch screen with Android apps built in. Oh, that's, you and know, that's a little costs, bit. Yeah, 234 bucks. It's a T-Mobile exclusive, though. And uh, But it's it's... It's nice for you know construction, industrial, first responders, any kind of job where your phone might be in danger on the daily. So, and kind of save this last one. This one was hard to recommend at the time, but you know when I when I opened this thing a few months ago, it was like Christmas, Christmas Day because I had never seen a folding computer. You know, a, a computer with a foldable, flexible screen. Yeah, you got yeah, you got to uh, fold Lenovo it. You have to fold yeah, it for everybody. So just, just do that. Like fold it. Oh, yeah. look at that. 13 inch laptop, fold it down to the size of a tablet, lightweight. Um, I don't like the keyboard that comes with it, but what I really didn't like was the price tag. When this thing, you know, first came out, just the price of admission going into it, it's $2,500. The one I was using with the terabyte hard drive, 3,100. But now they've gone from 25. Now they start at 1,400. So now it's a lot easier to recommend at that price for yeah. You know, I mean, just, yeah, I mean when you start looking at two thousand five hundred dollars, I mean, yeah. I mean, I know, yeah, we spend that on a MacBook, but I was going to say you're not talking about a MacBook. And you know, speaking of, how do you like your Mac? I like it. It's a uh, it's a little funky using one docking stations now because Apple makes their own M1 chips that don't play well with you know, peripherals. So it took a little uh, finesse and troubleshooting trying to get it to work with all my monitors. But aside from that, love the thing. It's just well, we have to, easy to use. We have to talk more about that because for people who don't know and you're watching right now, Ben was a Windows guy, right, Ben? I mean, Windows, Windows, yeah. Windows, Windows, Windows. And he took mm -hmm. the plunge recently and now he went Mac, right? Got my very first Mac. I've never, I've, I've used Macs, but I've never owned one. Okay. Now so, I do. I've had one for almost two months now. Okay. So based on that, if you were in the market for a new computer, Windows or Mac? Right now it's going to be Mac. Just if you're an iPhone owner alone. Yes. Because it's just seamless integration. It just, it just, it just all works together. I mean, and then once you get into that ecosystem, you can't help it. It's just like, oh, okay, I got it. And I, then you have the Apple Watch too. I mean, I it do. just makes sense. All right, so the list of all your reviews over on the website. Yep, and 15 and, greatest hits from the past year. And then what do you hope to review next year? Next year, you know, I did a little bit with home theater this year, like uh, the big, you know, sound bars and things like that. I'd really like to do a little more with the visual part of that, whether, you know, TVs or high end projectors, not the portable kind, you know, uh, I think that especially now those kinds of consumer electronics, while they're, they're getting a little more expensive because of supply chain and the holidays, but historically as the technology gets better and easier to make the prices get a little you know, a little cheaper and a little more attainable. So people who have not historically had massive TVs uh, can get them. So, Well, you know what, let's, um, what we ought to do is hook you up with, remind me next week to hook you up with Bill over at Artisan. Uh, he's the guy who's putting in the, all the AV system in my new house. And he has contacts, ah. he has contacts like at LG and Samsung and all those other places. Um, and maybe there's, maybe there's something that, you know, we could all work with him on because, um, I told you and I'll tell everybody, uh, but you already know the answer. So you can't say the answer. Okay. How many miles of cat six cable is going into my new house? Anybody, anybody? No. Uh, right now, I think the number that Bill told me was 136 miles. 
of Cat Six Cable. Isn't I'm about that to ridiculous? Run two hundred feet of Cat Six <laughs> Cable in my house. I don't know how it's so high. I don't know how it's so much. I really don't. And when he told me that, I said, you know, next time I'm back in Phoenix in the house, I want you to walk me around. But we are doing like two drops in certain places to make things redundant. Um, every light bulb in the entire house is addressable. Every light bulb. And, and wow. so every, think about that. Every light has a cable. I mean, it's going to be ridiculous. Uh, imagine if the whole thing goes down. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even turn on the bathroom lights. No, I'll be sitting there like, I'm going to turn on the flashlight on my iPhone. Everything's going to be great. All right. All right, Ben. So um, good job in 2021. We look forward to 2022. And good job telling us what we should buy and how many Ben heads. And thanks for also being part of Tech Refresh. Because if you're not part of Tech Refresh and you're not listening to Tech Refresh, rather, is that Ben's there on there every week, you know, talking about news and tips. And Ben's tips are always, I don't know if like you're not here, Ben, but your tips are always like a little on the geeky side. They are, but very practical and knowledgeable. So make sure that you also get Tech Refresh, our podcast, wherever you get your podcasts. All right, Ben, go back to work.